Hi guys, welcome to our today's stream of Stories Untold. We're going to be playing the last session, which I'm really anxious to get to because I think it's going to tie together all of uh, all of these little mini uh, side games, or stories rather, it says up here, four stories, one nightmare, all of them together. So, um, I... D Ha! Ark! Ark! How's it going? How's it going? I'm glad you could make it here real quick because I wasn't going to be able to wait my full 10 minutes uh, to uh, start streaming. I've, I'm a bit of a time crunch today, so I'm going to stream hopefully for a full hour, um, but we might have to cut out a little bit short, so I was just going to wait about five minutes to see who could get here. But basically, uh, what we're going to be doing today is starting the last session and the last episode, which is going to start tying together all the stories that we've heard so far today. Last time that we, I think, I think our main character's name is Mr. Klein or Kalen or Mr. Mr. Something, which the first time we heard that name was in the lab conduct when he was a, uh, he was a volunteer or a participant or something in, in a certain experiment. Um, but I, I, we have reason to believe that it's the same person that we were playing as, or the same person who was the subject in the house abandoned too. Uh, station process. Towards the end of it, we realized that the person that we were playing was waking up from some kind of coma. Um, and it tied together with the first one because when we came back to the bunker at the very end, we were walking back into this room, into this space with the uh, TV with the house abandoned on it. Yeah, I definitely couldn't, uh, I couldn't stream yesterday, so I didn't want to uh, cut one of our one of our stream days for the week so I'm trying to squeeze this in I'm trying to squeeze this in as best as I can I'm hoping this isn't going to be a super technical game uh, with uh, I'm hoping this isn't going to be a game with super technical puzzles like it did with this one um, taking a lot of notes like if I um, if if I hadn't looked up in a walkthrough what one of the answers to one of the last puzzles was, I would have been there for ages. It asked me what the second number of all four of the first four codes you were given or something, and I didn't write that shit down. I wasn't prepared to write it down. I didn't know I had to write it down. So anyways, I'm going to actually, just in case, just just in case, I'm going to pull up a walkthrough, and it's going to be hidden uh, on, a, on like a tab that I can't see. And if I... Just, uh, if I get stuck, then I will refer to that, because I don't want to spend a lot of time sitting around being frustrated, like, oh, what the hell am I supposed to do? What's this? What do I touch? What do I push? What do I poke? Like, like, kind of what happened a little bit last time. There were a couple, there were a couple portions of, like, puzzles that I actually did want to sit there for a second and try to work out myself, even if it was, sorry, if it was a little frustrating to you guys out there. But, um, that, I mean, that's part of enjoying a game is, is when you feel like you have the ability to solve one of the, one of the puzzles, you give yourself a chance to work it out. Or if you think you have a lead on something like, hey, I think this might be it. Well, you may end up to be totally wrong, but it's exercising the brain muscles. It's exercising the brain muscles, even if you're going in the wrong direction. Stories untold. One. Okay, is this... All right, so that is up. No spoilers. Oh, forgot to mention I started making little drawings that are like emotes. I'm not sure if they are that good though. Oh, that's so cool. Um, I have no, I have no ability to do that kind of thing myself. So I'm sure they're much better than anything I could do. Are are they something that like I can add? Like, can I add them to the emotes that people can use in the chat? Is that how that works? Do all streamers have to come up with their own? How very strange. If that is the case. We're just going to wait another minute here. And then we'll get started. See that this this second episode right here is what really threw me for a loop. Oh, whoops! You are not looking at what I'm looking at. Let's change that. There. Now you are looking at what I'm currently looking at. Um, 
So this episode 2 really threw me for a loop. I'm very, very confused about what the artifact was that he was running experiments on, what the little eyeball was. Did it really have to do with aliens? Are they... I mean... I kind of feel like it's a little bit of a sci-fi thing. And if that's the case, if it, if it does kind of dabble in the realm of sci-fi, then there's really nothing that I can hypothesize about. Because sci-fi can... I mean, your story, your story can be anything because it's not in the realm of reality currently, current reality, current, current times, and you know. I mean, those robots could be anything. I don't have the ability to make, like, I guess, guesses on what they were or what that all is. Okay, I think it is time. Ark is gonna send me a pic of what you drew. I call them Rose Buddies! Oh my god! That is the best thing I've heard all day! That's the best thing I've heard all day. Rose Buddies! Oh my god! I love you. Okay, let's start the last session. I hope this is gonna be really enlightening. I'm hoping for everything being tied together. Sometimes you may need to look beyond the screen to progress. Beyond the screen? Interesting. Oh, Rose Buddies. <laughs> oh, yeah, today was a. Oh, my God, today was a day. I've just been so stressed out. Oh, oh yeah, 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 we have to have the uh, opening scene again. I want to know more about his family and what happened. I think that's enough of that for now. really cool. A little fourth wall breaking a little bit, I guess. You're quite fond of this show, aren't you? Huh? Stories untold. Is, is it a show? Wait, that's the monitor. That TV is the monitor that we had as his computer. So it is a TV. Okay, come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. I'm just gonna guess that we are now like the person... Okay. Yep, 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 yeah, I knew it. So I bet you it's somebody talking to us comatose. We are comatose. This place must be starting to feel like home to you. This is probably right before we wake up. Don't worry. I'll try and get you out of here eventually. I'm just in here. Okay. Are we through in the next room? Just relax, and we'll get started in a moment. Oh, well, maybe he's not. Maybe he's in a wheelchair. He's being rolled around, that's for sure. And we're... Oh, I can look around, which means this is his head. He's looking forward, so he's in the sitting position. Because of the height of the table. Right, Mr. Asian. Asian! Now are you ready? Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. I wonder if all this is happening chronologically. Oh man, I wish Subject I could. Subject 12 19 86 23, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander, leading, and in the room we have our patient, Mr. James Asian. As we know, James has recently recovered from a two week coma following his accident. Yeah, what did he do? In our last three sessions, James's attempts to recollect events of the accident have seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic and we've had to terminate the session abruptly Scared. let's try and do this one better james so when you're ready let's bring this back that's a little insensitive let's try to be, do this one better but you can do this james it's time to remember his accident i wonder i wonder if he's talking about the accident your mind it's like a Shit. conscious black box show you your memories. Look at it. <gasps> oh my god, the walls, the walls! Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> uh, oh my gosh. I don't want to look into this thing. I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't want to. <sighs> Ah! 
So is the accident what he did to himself? In your most recent episode, you recalled a false memory of a remote weather station. Or is the you accident what happened to the world. kill his family or Locked something? Your coma. We interacted with you daily, encouraging you to wake. Oh wow, your family that's amazing. Would do number puzzles with his you. family's alive. Anything really to bring you back. People needed answers, James. Do you remember? I have another signal here for you, James. It's at 5610 FM. You can't miss it. Oh no, I have to do this again. Hold on real quick, I need to collect my thoughts on this. Okay, keep, go breathe, keep going, you have to. Read what they say, give up. Breathe. What are these? Are these... What is this? Sometimes you do things, sometimes those things are wrong. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out of the car, get out, get out. Get out of the car, get out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so... I'm thinking that the accident we're talking about here are events that took place before the game starts. So maybe all this comatose, ne like these, I'm sorry, all of these, um, all of these events have been happening inside his head from the very beginning, since the beginning of House of Andon. The accident has something to do with, I think, the photos that we found at the bottom of the closet, the uh, empty road in a, a forest, I think it said. Dark dark road in a forest. Um, his family is trying to help him, which means his family is alive and presumably well. But then when we were in the house abandoned and we got to the end of it, he said, it's all your fault, it's all my fault, it's all my fault. And he said that um, he can finally be with his family. He said... Um, this needs to end. It sounds like it sounds like a suicide or something. It sounds like there's a lot of guilt or it sounds like he wanted to do something to himself. Hmm. I gotta think really hard. And when he when he says end it and then you type end it, what does that mean? That's so unspecific. And what is this stuff right here? What is this stuff? Read what they said. Keep going, you have to. I'm going to click this and see what happens. Okay, didn't do anything. Alright, well, let's do what they say. We have to. So, our family has been interacting with us through our imagination, through these hallucinate or not hallucinations, because we're in a coma. Oh, it actually has it marked for me. That's kind of cool. Because, uh, I, I guess they have a way of linking brain waves so that they can interact with us. Even they can interact with the, the conscious part of our brain that's functional right now. I like that. That's very cool. That's very, very, very cool. I like that they, they have that in here. Ten. Here we go. Here it is. Oh, FM. All right. Eighty-six. Oh, shit. Twenty-three. I need to write this down. Paper. Type in the numbers, James. Guess. This is 20 F. 12. 19. 86. 23. 04. Type in the numbers, James. Guess. I can't this hear. Is 20 F. 12. 19. 86. You gotta see this, is what he this said. Alright, can I just type this in straight away? Is there any problem solving that needs to be done? Let's just try the easy, straightforward, easy method first. It was 20F, 12, 19, 86. He said, You gotta see this. I think this is his brother, maybe. Or dad? 86? 
Case I would say dad. We'd heard nothing of a brother so far. There was no extra room in the house for a brother. There was no extra bedroom, I mean. Type in the numbers, James. Type in the numbers. Guess. There it is. Oh, shit. This is 20F. Report. 12, All right, we have to do this again. 1986. <sighs> I'm gonna write this down to make it easier again. I was kind of hoping we were done with this little section. Uh, oh, what was it? I should write down everything, actually. Okay. Report. Twelve. Code word, reference, report. So let's find that. I find it really interesting that one of the um, code word, one of the code words was sacrifice. I wonder if there was, if that means anything. Wait, is this different? It is different. Guys, look. Look, this is different. Wolson Police Department. Road traffic accident report file. So I'm going with he was in a car accident. This is 20F. 12. No, never. Dang it. Damn it, Rose. Never the dial. Never the dial. Okay. All right. Let's look at this. You've got to chill out, dude. You've got to take a break. Uh, and then what is this, zoom? No. What's zoom? How do I zoom again? Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Is this our gonna, gonna be our incident report? I gotta read this. Uh, some of it's redacted, looks like. It's so hard to read! Guys, 1986! Here we go. That was the number on the wall in the first one. Where, what says 1986? Did this? What said 1986? Okay. Number of number of vehicles. Yeah, it is a traffic accident report. Date date and time of accident. Looks like it says 23? 23 of 86? 2205? I'm gonna assume that that means January, February, March. I'm gonna assume that in like month, day, year uh, format, it would mean March 20th in 1986 at like, what's 22? 22 would be like, what, 10 o'clock or something? Wait. I don't know. At night. Pleasant Valley. Fatal accident. Somebody died. Did his daughter... Did, daughter. Did his... Um, I, I bet his sister died. James Asian. Injured. License numbers. Doesn't matter. Driver's street doesn't matter. City doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Date of birth is... 10-1 of 63, it looks like. 10-1 of 63... So we have 1986 minus 1963, 63. So he was 23 years old when this happened. Passenger two injured. No, nobody was passenger two. He was the only one in the car. All right. Oh, I'm into this. I'm so into this right now. What is this? Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, who who just Ark just subscribed with tier one? Awesome, awesome! Thank you so much, Ark. Ark, you have no idea. Did you hear that little violin part? That uh, that is from the path. I don't know if you watched it, but um, I thought I was losing my mind for a second because I was so engrossed in this game. But then I started hearing that sound. Yeah, I should turn it up or make it. I should find a way to make it louder. Uh, and I was like, oh my god, what's happening? The, like, m merging of two games in my head. I thought I, I thought I was losing my mind. Okay, driver street, driver name, Charles, wait, driver? Oh, wait, 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 here we go. Driver one and driver two, okay. So, James was in one vehicle by himself. Charles Hennings was in the other and he died. A guy named Charles Hennings died in that accident. What else can we tell? Uh, date of birth. His date of birth was 217 of 1940. So, uh, 1986 minus 1940 is gonna, of course, be 20, no, 46. So the person who died was 46. All right, let's read the uh, description of the incident. Gotta get back out just a little bit. 
This is where we get some answers. This is where I love it. I love the path. Yeah, it showed it weird. It was my second month subscribed. Yeah, you see it. No, I see it. I see it. It says subscribed at tier one. You've subscribed for two months. Currently on a two month streak. Way to go. You are my first person to, to be on a two month streak. And actually, I got my 100th follower. I got my 100th follower yesterday. It was very cool. It was actually um somebody that we had in the stream on Monday. So it was actually somebody I, I had here. It was awesome. Okay. Arrived on scene to discover two cars that had been involved in a near head-on collision. Mr. Asian found lying down outside his vehicle with head injuries. An ambulance was immediately called. Was immediately called. His passenger... His passenger was trapped in the vehicle in critical condition. Passenger? But see, this, this field right here, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but this field right here says passenger two. Oh! Passenger one right here! And everything's blanked out. Okay. Oh, let me go back to reading. Uh, trapped in the vehicle in critical condition from wounds sustained in the collision. The driver of the blue sedan, Mr. Hennings, was found dead on arrival. It was noticed that there was a strong smell of whiskey from the driver. Ah, ha, ha. And if... And... And... An opened whiskey bottle on the passenger seat. He was drinking and driving then. That's why, uh, y as soon as, like... I don't know. As soon as I read that this was a car accident, and then I was putting that together with the guilt, I was like, I was wondering if he was under the influence of something. Uh, Mr. Asian was questioned on scene. He described an an oncoming blue sedan being cleared out of being clearly out of control, which he swerved to avoid. Mr. Asian's passenger was his sister. The driver of the blue sedan is an ex police officer of twenty years. Ah, okay. Now we know what happened. Did I zoom all the way in? I meant to zoom all the way back out. Huh. Oops, not that. You, you there. Clear things up for us. Okay. So. I don't know what... I don't know what this is, though, actually. Let me... What did it say? We'll have to look outside the screen? Sometimes we'll have to look beyond the screen for the answers, is that what it said? Do I have to look back to my last one? To my notes from last time? Oh man, I didn't write down the uh, code word reference words for anything. Hey Zinc! How's it going? So, no, we didn't go back and play the, uh, the, bunker, uh, the bunker scene again. Uh, this is actually the next one. We just read... Oh my gosh, I hope you didn't miss it. Well, you, you might have missed it. We just read the police report. So what happened is our main character's name is James. He was in a car accident with his sister as a passenger. The um, person in the other car was found dead at the scene. James uh, has been in a coma for, I think, two weeks or two months. I don't remember what it said. And um, <coughs> his sister was the passenger. And there was, uh, there was an open whiskey bottle in the passenger seat. And uh, it smelled like whiskey in the area. Do I have to turn this box on? Execute. Anything I can do here? Can I type? Tippy taps? Let's go back to, not tab, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go back to this. Keep going, you have to. Read what they said. Give up? A coward? Is that supposed to be like end game? <laughs> get out, get out, get out. Some those things are hmm. Okay, I'm gonna tab over to my little walkthrough and see and get a little jump start on what's going on. Turn on the digital receiver. And then type in those numbers. Okay, so what it says that the lines we need are found on the micro, whatever this is. They're circled. 
Okay, I would not have... It would have taken me forever to guess that. <laughs> okay, so what does this say? 20F. Fatal accident. Let's write that here. 20F. Case sensitive, guys. Fatal accident day. Yeah, today was not a great day. I can't really, like... I can't even really talk about it because it involves work. But it was just... It's stressful. It's been stressful. That's why I'm cutting down a day. Empty whiskey? Second one, I think. Empty... Whiskey. And out of control. Out of control. So, when he was, um, when we read the last, the last manifestation of the note that he had in the House Abandon, that was basically, you know, I'm sorry, it needs to end now, I can be with you again. I think that, that he may have been talking about climbing or clawing his way out of his coma, being with them again. Like, maybe they're all okay, and he wants to rejoin them now, and he's been trying to fight his way out of this coma. Out of control. Okay, let's try that. Let's see here. Uh, hope I get the spacing right. 20F. Dash. Fatal. Accident. Uh, empty whiskey. Was it empty whiskey bottle? Empty whiskey. Empty whiskey. Empty whiskey. And then, out. Oops, capitalize, guys. Capitalize. Case sensitive. Oops, control. Oh, let me switch back over to the chat so I can see you guys. Oh, the circled text. That's like the quit button. Oh, it is the quit button! Oh, man. I'm so smart. <laughs> You shouldn't need anything from past iterations. Okay, that's good to know. Wait, so he's in his coma. He wouldn't know his sister died in the accident. Yeah, sorry, I want to catch up. No, he wouldn't. His uh, we we don't know if his sister died in the accident. We don't know either. Uh, prior to this, this prior to this little portion of the game, I thought that she probably did die, but I didn't know what from. It just seemed that way from the way he was talking about it. But he's the one. She she was in critical condition. It did say she was in critical condition at the uh, at the scene of the accident. So we don't know if she made it or not. Execute. Oh dang it! I got that wrong again. Okay. Well, spacing of that. What is it? Spacing. It's the spacing of the dash, isn't it? Okay, it's gonna be F and dash. Hopefully it's like that. Uh fatal accident. Yeah, the guy in the other the guy in the other car died at this at the scene. Really sad. That must be the pictures of the road. Uh pictures of the road that were found in the bottom of the wardrobe. Find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. You have to face it, James. Officer Williams. This is his brain. This is his brain. I think. He's processing all of this, you know? He's he's analyzing the information he's getting. Like, it sounds like he... Well, it seems evident that he can hear the voices. And he's receiving information from the outside while in his coma. Is this his subconscious... Is the report him assuming his sister is dead? I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> I don't... He He's not assuming. I don't think he's assuming... I don't think he's assuming that his sister's dead. I think I was... I think I was wrong earlier when I thought she was dead. Because we have no idea. All we know is that she was in the accident and in critical condition at this point. So far, he hasn't mentioned her. Yeah, it's kind of curious. How is he getting the information of a police report while in his coma? But we do know, as like I, ju I guess, 
I said, he is able to receive information somehow. 7,000 FM. Let's turn this sucker back on. 7,000. 7,000. When you're saying it was all my fault, they were telling you to face it. And then when you s did, they said, finally. You have to face it, finally. I keep thinking that that portion of the note that you're talking about, when it says, um, it was all my fault, that's him. That note was him. He was writing that note to himself. I don't know. It kind of seemed like a, like a inner monologue. I could be wrong. Go, go, go. Get this guy up here. It seemed like an inner monologue to himself, like that he was it's not like he it. was really bullying Absolutely. himself. I've worked with Officer Henning for six years and not once have we even talked about alcohol. Drunk driving. He, he was a father, a husband. Oh a shit. No way he caused this. Oh it's shit. It's him. This Haitian guy. He's got something to hide. Did I read that wrong? Did I read that wrong? And uh, the bottle was with the uh, the other guy. Oh, she did. Ark says, "Right, the lady just now said that." Oh man, I want to go back and reread that report. Did it say that the whiskey was found in the dead in the the deceased person's vehicle or in our vehicle? I think it was in it was in the the deceased man's vehicle. Officer Hennings was the deceased person. You step out of the hospital ward only it seems abandoned. Your vision is blurry. This is where How strange. This is where we're supposed to be giving an interview right now. How surreal. Sometimes they make you watch your past sessions to see what really happened. Time to quit. Help is here. We're in a mental... We're, I think we're in a mental institute. Or a mental facility. Maybe not, you know, institutionalized. During driving home? Don't have that fifth pint. Oh my god! <laughs> no, you shouldn't even get up to fourth pint to a fourth pint. Maybe don't have that third pint, depending on your alcohol tolerance. Don't have more than I don't know, two. Depending on your tolerance, don't have more than one. First steps to recovery, home care, travel, and chaperone. Living with new conditions, rehabilitation, physiotherapy. What do you guys think? Is it because that, uh, that man's voice that we'd never heard before was trying to say... Whoa, 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 whoa! You tense up. Someone else is here. Shit. That uh, male voice that we heard was trying to, like, make lots of... Uh, they are all locked. Make lots of excuses for Officer Hennings, which was the deceased party. Who had the whiskey? Open Oreos? What? What? Where were Oreos? I didn't see Oreos anyway. Ah, I'm gonna pull this. Prankster! <laughs> this certainly feels like an emergency. Oh, I like that they actually, like, they, they did a good job here. It's empty. This could be Silent Hill. Do I need to step back? Hello? Uh, light is in there, so we probably need to go in there. But I'm not going to. I'm going to be a rebel, and I'm going to explore. Huh. Oh, you have your own Oreos. Ah! How could you trick me like that? That's just teasing me. Although I do <laughs> I actually do have Oreos in the uh, pantry right now. Which is strange. There haven't uh, I haven't had Oreos in my house for years, and this is the first time in years I've had Oreos in the house. And it's really funny that you mention that right now. I don't even. I used to not like Oreos, but um, 
my boyfriend got them to make Oreo shakes. And I decided to try an Oreo. And it was delicious. It was so good. I have I don't know why I didn't like them before. They just Today didn't was the first session with Mr. James Asian. Although I fear it will certainly not be his last. When asked about events that have happened in the past, he confused fact and fiction and told us a story about a computer game that was talking to him. I think he was back at his own house, his mum and dad's house, and he always talked about a room with a red X, one he couldn't get in. The utility room. I don't know what any of this means or what it's going to do with the accident, but I guess uh, some more sessions will maybe reveal that. We're going to try again tomorrow. You spent most waking moments here. The only video they have, some horror compilation. Trash. What? Didn't whoever wheel us into the other room said that it's the only thing we'll watch? So it seems like we've been awake from the coma for a while, but still not have a good grasp on reality. Let's sanitize our hands. Get rid of all these germies. Most common place to pick up a staph infection is a hospital. Another door you never opened. You don't know what was in there. Oh, oh, hello. I can come in here. I know I left a key in the other room. I'm just exploring. I, you only caught a glimpse of the room. Shit, I didn't see it. I didn't. I couldn't know what that said. Ooh. I've cleaned enough of these. Goodness gracious. Uh, the smell of hospitals don't bother me. I'm just musing out loud. Uh, just thinking that most people say they hate the smell of hospitals. The smell doesn't, uh, smell like anything but, uh, sanitizer and chemicals to me because they use it constantly. But I do, I don't like the, um, I don't like how it's always freezing. I don't know why it has to be freezing cold. I'm eating them. Is the key next to the monitor room you just important? Oh, I think I get it, but I don't think I have enough info yet. <coughs> you grab the key from the table. They weigh heavy in your hand. Don't worry about it, Zink. I'm like right now. I'm totally just um, kind of like trying to. I don't know. I'm trying to challenge myself to guess the ending before it happens, but I probably shouldn't. Well, no. I'm just. I'm just having fun with it. We we will definitely be more enlightened later on. So if you don't get it right now, I'm sure it'll become more and more clear later. Oh, a key. But I have a key. But I has key. Let's go actually go try out the ones that are locked in the room that we were videotaped in. It seems like if there were any files on us, they would be in this room where we were being interviewed. They are all locked. Yeah? Yeah? Are they though? Are they though? Are you sure about that? Are you quite sure? What about these ones? You never Oh, hey. He has quite an imagination, Miss Station. I guess it's from the shows he's been watching. This time he described a, an a and &E visit as a government conspiracy, or some sort of lab. It's, uh, it's interesting stuff. A and &E visit. Uh, it's obviously pure fiction, but I guess it's just his way of coping for now. We'll see how we progress in future sessions. Okay, well, this is the fourth, oh, well, let's just take our key elsewhere then, shall we? You hit the nail on the head in your previous video, you guessed exactly right that someone was in a coma and everything you experienced was a manifestation in their psyche. <laughs> That's cool. That makes me feel happy. The waiting area is dark, but you feel a presence right behind you. <gasps> this light was not on before, was it? Oh, perhaps it was. I'm trying to click on the TV, but... Nothing else? Seats for visitors. Not that you've ever had any. What? Your family hasn't been to see you? Wait a minute. If his family was calling out to him and speaking to him while he was in a coma trying to pull him out, then how come he hasn't had any visitors from visits from them while they were here? 
Well, he's awake, I mean. What was that? Let's close this door. I'm getting a little spooky vibe. I can't close it! <gasps> ah! I clicked out of the game! Okay, we're good. What's going on with this family, though? Is he still under? That looks like... Can you kind of see a hospital bed? Like, kind of transparent in this wall? You feel dread in the pit of your stomach. Are we still under? What's going on? I don't want to miss anything! I have to check these doors! Are we a ghost? Is this the afterlife? Is this the afterlife? Okay, I like this one. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Somebody is standing over us. They have to be. Breathing down our neck. <sighs> okay. Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle oh. collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. The other passengers died in the accident. Oh, Jesus. Our I'm daughter, no our pulse. Prepare for defib. I'll charge full to ten and give me 100 jewels. So this is the equipment. Come on, 100 jewels. Charging up full to ten. Oh, wait. It's not that. It's, uh... Oh, we did this. We did this on ourself. Come on. We did this on ourself. I forgot how. Um, we need to charge... This? No, this? We need to charge. No, power. 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 Uh, if I remember how to do this. Why is there a monitor right here? Or a camera right here, though? I don't know if that needs to be on, but charging. Charge. Ready. Ready. Oh, shit. Turn that off. Uh, Can we get this on the screen, please? Shit. All right, all right. Uh, we don't need this on? We need that on, I think. We need this on, I think. No, no, no. We don't. What? I don't remember what needs to be on! The thing under the TV has jewels on it. Under the TV. This? No, this is the sound. This... Oh, signal generator. Frequency. Come on, 100 jewels. Charging up <sighs> to 10. Variable generator. This says frequency. The thing under the TV has jewels on it. The thing under the TV. This? Ah. This was not jewels before. What? What is it? 100 jewels. Charging up full to 10. Okay. So this is what they did to us when we were in the hospital. Interesting. And we did. they did do this to our heart. So... Right? Okay. It's ready. It's a hundred jewels. I cannot read that anywhere. It says... It, I can't read the na the word jewels anywhere. I don't know how I'm supposed to know that. Okay. It's ready. Come on. Hundred jewels. Charging up full to ten. Charging up full to ten? What are you talking about? Okay. Give us a second, precious. Oh shit, did I miss a cassette in the hospital? I hope not. Oh crap. Oh crap! Oh no! I tapped out of the game! I'm sorry! He's <laughs> Come on, 100 jewels. Charging All right, up so to 10. Charging up to 10. The amplifier, 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 amp, 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 amplifier, amp. Amplifier? Remember which one's the amplifier? Give me some help here! Cut me a bone here! Cut me some bones! <laughs> I don't think that's how it goes. Okay, 100 jewels. Isn't that the knob to the right of the TV? To the right, to the right, to the right, 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 right. <gasps> yes, it is! Yes, it is! Thank you. Come on, 100 jewels. Charging up full to 10. Okay, well, there. 
Monitor is on, camera's on. Is this on and it doesn't need to be? Is that why? Come on! Turn off what you don't need. Okay. Uh this is needed. Camera is Camera's needed. He told me to turn it on. This is needed and this is needed. Everything else is shut off. Oh yes! Yes! Come on, hundred jewels. Charging up pool to ten. No reaction from first stage. Let's try higher. Two hundred joules. Keep the amp charge at ten. Did he say that we were we were in fibrillation? Oh shit, what did he say? <laughs> Two hundred joules. Keep the charge at ten. Let's go. God, if I was really like in this situation being a healthcare provider, they'd be like, ah, you fucked it, they're dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's been a long time. Okay. Charging! Clear! Clear. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Did he say we were in fibrillation? Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. <laughs> Come on, 360, hurry. I'm going! Will you kindly... Shut the fuck up. And then, oh shit, I missed one. Go, up, one more. No, down one. No, fuck, up one. No! Come on. There. Charging! Clear! Clear. I'm clear, you're clear, we're all clear. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. We need to run an x-ray right away. <laughs> Where are we with that x-ray? Let's get it going now, please. Oh, that's right. And the, then the second thing we did was the x-ray. And it was, uh, let's, da, 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 what was it? Uh, awaiting x-ray data. I don't remember. What's that? What's this? Crap. I'm tabbing over. Because I, I don't remember how to take the x-ray. I didn't, like, put. Turn off the signal generator and the amp. Flip the switch on the CC86. Okay, it's the CC86 thing. Where are we with that X-ray? CC86. Where is it? Where is it? CC. CC. CC86. Okay, I did that. Turn off. I guess this. Maybe this. Oh boy. Hold, hold tight, hang tight, hang tight. Stand by. Where are we with that x ray? Okay, so I turned off now, the please. amp, I turned off this thing, and then I. I thought. X ray. Yeah, this says x ray on it right here. It says x ray. This is on x-ray. This doesn't need to be on. I don't think. This needs to be off. This needs to be flipped. Where are we with that x-ray? Let's get it going now. All right, please. let's look at the chat. Chat, under the drill is not on. I'm trying to flip it on like I'm clicking it and nothing's happening. Like it says, it says x-ray right here. Turn off what you don't need. I think more you don't. <laughs> You're just bagging on me. Uh, crap. I turned off everything I don't need. This is on X-ray. Is anything? This says this is powered. This big red, big green button. Where are we with that X-ray? Let's get it going now, please. Oh, power. No. Power. I don't understand. I even looked at the walkthrough and it said to turn this on. Where are we with that x-ray? Let's get it going now, please. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Yeah, like th this thing right here, I can't, I can't touch it. I can't slide it. I can't click it. 
I can't do anything with it. I know I need to turn this on. Dang it. Oh wait, I didn't look and see it. Oh yeah, no, nothing's changed here. Get out, get out, get out, get out of the car. Let's... Can we get this on the screen, please? Oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Awaiting x-ray data. I hope we haven't hit a snag. Like a glitchy type snag. Shit. What do we do if we did? Oh! Ah! Did I do it? Where are we with that x-ray? No. Let's get no, it going I now. Please. I just basically accidentally. I'm just clicking everywhere now. Shit. Maybe it is a glitch. It's weird for the button to be is off. Okay, let me read this through very carefully. Alright, let me read this carefully. Turn off the signal generator and the amp. I did that. Flip the switch on the CC86 X-ray to charge it. That's that's the problem. Slide the TV unit control to the far right to XR setting. Where maybe I did this. Maybe I'm supposed to keep this Let's here get first. It going now, please. Yeah. Okay, glitch. Perhaps I'm thinking it's a glitch. Shit. This thing is supposed to be turning on. Everything else is perfectly set. Well. Read what they say? Hmm. I don't know. Like, I don't have time to start over again. <sighs> I don't know what to do. This sucks. Okay. Um. What I'll have to do is... We'll have to s we'll have to stop for now because I only have another ten minutes that I can stream, and it'll um yeah I only have another ten minutes that I can stream, and then next next stream I'll uh, pick up halfway through this episode. I think I may have missed a cassette when we were wandering around the lobby, and I want to look for that for sure. And then we'll get back here and we'll um we'll get back to place and then we'll continue on sorry guys Sh don't forget to check your Facebook oh yeah 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 we'll do I will do that um, so sorry I couldn't keep going guys I know the like the last five ten minutes of this was kinda all worrying about what the glitch but we did have a lot of revelations about the story so pretty certain that the sister died because um, we heard one of the paramedics talking saying that pass the uh, the passengers both are deceased so he heard that, right? He heard that while he was still slightly somewhat to some degree conscious. So he he had to have known that in his coma. I think that's how he knew, which was why her room was all boarded up in the house abandoned episode. Okay. Thank you guys for um, joining me for this short stream and I will catch you at the next one, maybe tomorrow or Sunday. Have a good night. Take care. Love you.